Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. And today's gonna be a quick tip tutorial video. I'm gonna show you how to fix that annoying sound that happens when you try and import samples into Logic, specifically the EXS24 sampler instrument. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in right now. A lot of times we find samples online and we go ahead and import it into EXS24. And this is what it sounds like. I'm sure you all heard this at one point or another. Here it is. Now that is not what that Spins 808 sample should sound like. It sounds horrible. I don't know why Logic for the longest time has been working with WAV files like this. I guess it's an incompatible WAV file. So I'm gonna show you how to take that sample and convert it so that Logic can understand it properly. So right here we are in a program called Audacity. It is a free audio program and I use it just to convert samples um, pretty much every day. I use Logic every day and I pretty much use this every day to convert my wave sample so that it works in Logic's EXS24 instrument. It's really easy to use. I just drag in the sample into the arrangement. I go to File, which is off my screen right here. I go to Export. And essentially all that you want to do is just uh, export it as a wave Microsoft Sign 16-bit PCM. And then I'm just gonna create a new folder actually here. Converted. And I'm gonna convert that sample to that folder. I'm gonna click OK. And that's it, it exported that sample. Now we're gonna go back to Logic and drag in that new converted WAV file. All right, so now we're back in Logic. As you can see, we now have a converted folder over here. I'm gonna double click that. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that in. Actually, first let's delete our old one. Let's drag in this new one. Now we got that coveted Spins 808 ready to go in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. So that's how you convert your wave samples that you may download off the internet or get off the internet and make it work within Logic's EXS24 instrument. Sometimes like you heard before, it gets that really crackly audio file that just sounds horrible. That's not how your sample should sound like. Pop that into Audacity, which is a free converter program convert it to another wave file and you're good to go logic always reads those ones and you and your samples will live happily ever after if you have any questions on this you can ask me in the comment section below i am going to go ahead and place a link of the audacity software in the description box below this video so you can download that it is free so check that out that's it for me guys if you did like this video remember thumbs up share and of course hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one i'll talk to y'all soon later